ultimate asakusa guide. 57 recommended street foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about street food in Asakusa. We'll introduce 57 items, including foods from newly opened shops this year and popular sweets among the locals. We'll also share some useful travel tips in between food recommendations, so don't miss it. Now, let's get started. We have arrived at Asakusa Station. This time, we'll introduce Asakusa divided into six areas. By the way, most of the shops in Asakusa open around 10 to 11 a.m. Please note that many of them close around 5 p.m. Now let's head to the first place. First, we will introduce shops located in the Nishi Sando area, which is about a 9-minute walk from Tobu Asakusa Station. In this area, there are popular places like Hoppy Dori, where you can enjoy outdoor drinking, and Asakusa Yokocho, an indoor izakaya spot where you can go on a food tour even when it's raining. Let's introduce this shop, Giraffa. It's a curry bread specialty shop that opened in June 2023. Their main store in Kamakura has won the gold award at a curry bread competition for three years in a row. Now let's try their curry bread, which they can sell up to 3,300 pieces in a day. It's different from regular curry bread because it's fried without a batter, making it a healthier option with less oil absorption. The outside is crispy and it has a subtle sweetness of milk. Inside, there is plenty of cheese and curry. The curry contains honey, apple, and tomato, giving it a fruity and a sweet taste. The melted cheese is great! We'll introduce another curry bread with truffle oil and wagyu later, so stay tuned! Next up, we'll introduce Asakusa Bonbon. It's a specialty shop for Nikumaki Onigiri that opened in October 2023. They heat it after you order so you can enjoy it freshly cooked. It's rice wrapped with pork and seasoned with a sweet and spicy sauce. It has a nice aroma of garlic. It's made with pork belly, making it fatty and juicy. The rice inside has a chewy texture. The sauce with gochujang is rich and goes well with the rice. It's skewered, so it's easy to eat. Next, we'll introduce Suzuki En, located about a 5-minute walk from the Nishisando area. This is a tea specialty shop with a history of over 150 years. You can not only buy tea leaves, but also enjoy various sweets. Among them, the most popular menu is the gelato. Their matcha gelato has seven levels of richness, and the richest one in the world is especially popular. This time, we'll try the one with the richest flavor. It uses the highest quality matcha in Japan, so it has a deep color and a pleasant aroma. The matcha flavor is rich and delicious. It has a subtle bitterness, but you can also taste the sweetness of the milk, making it easy to eat. It has an elegant taste and gives you the feel of Japan. If you're a matcha lover, be sure to give it a try. Next, we'll introduce a shop called Imo Pippi. It's a sweet potato dessert specialty shop that opened in February 2022. There are five menu items, and this time we'll introduce two recommended sweets from among them. First, we'll have the baked sweet potato topped with butter. The sweet potatoes at this shop are aged for three months after harvesting, so the sweetness is enhanced. It has a nice aroma of honey. The sweet potato has a moist and smooth texture and melts in your mouth. 
The combination of the buttery saltiness and sweetness of honey makes it even more delicious. The sweet potato skin also has a good texture and is tasty so you can eat everything. Next, let's introduce the baked sweet potato in a creme brulee style. It has a nice aroma because it's sprinkled with sugar and then seared. The surface is crispy and the custard cream inside is rich. The sweet potato and custard cream melt in your mouth. There is also baked sweet potato with ice cream on top, so please try it. The next place is Dom Dom Burger. It's the oldest hamburger chain in Japan, founded in 1917, with over 20 locations throughout Japan. This time, we'll introduce a menu item exclusive to the Asakusa branch. It's a croquette burger made with Wagyu. The croquette is fried after your order, so you can enjoy it piping hot. The buns are soft and have a pleasant sesame aroma, which has a nice accent. The Wagyu ground meat is coarsely ground, giving it a great texture, and the flavor has soaked into the potatoes. It's seasoned with ketchup and mayonnaise, making it simple but delicious. The size is large, and it's satisfying to eat. The next shop is Asakusa Omatsuri Gourmet. We'll introduce ice cream sandwich in Monaka, which originates from Asakusa. Monaka is a Japanese-style snack made from baked glutinous rice dough. There are five flavors of ice cream, and we chose strawberry among them. The ice cream that soaks into the crispy Monaka makes it delicious. It has the subtle tartness of the strawberries and the sweetness of the milk. Besides strawberry, the matcha and chocolate flavors are also recommended. The next place is Asakusa Unana, located behind the shopping street. It's a specialty eel shop that offers only takeout. At this shop, let's try the Unagi Onigiri where eel is placed on a grilled rice ball. It has a sweet sauce and a refreshing aroma of sancho pepper. The eel is large, so it's great! It's fatty and melts in your mouth. The grilled rice ball is crispy, and the sauce soaks into it, making it delicious. The next is Asakusa Chaya Tabane Noshi. It's a matcha sweet specialty shop that opened in May 2022. We'll have the matcha tiramisu crepe at this shop. The characters for Asakusa are written in matcha powder. The crepe batter also contains a generous amount of matcha, so it has a pleasant aroma. Under the whipped cream, there is matcha ice cream. It has a subtle bitterness and elegant flavor. The mascarpone cheese is creamy and rich. At the bottom, there are cookies soaked into espresso. It has a perfect bitterness and a great texture. Next, we'll introduce Asakusa Takomaru, a specialty shop for takoyaki. It opened in 2014 and has been featured on TV and the internet many times. Let's try the freshly cooked takoyaki. It has the nice aroma of bonito flakes and sauce. The outside is crispy and the inside is creamy. It uses fresh octopus that can also be eaten as sashimi, which has a plump texture and is addictive. It's as delicious as the original takoyaki from Osaka. Next, we'll introduce Mochinyan Yaki. It's a specialty shop for bite-sized Costello cakes that opened in August 2023. You can freely choose and customize from six different flavors. The container with illustration of Asakusa is adorable. The Costello cakes are shaped like cats. It has a natural sweetness from eggs and milk. It's moist and fluffy. The strawberry cream has a subtle tartness. The custard cream has the aroma of vanilla beans. The chocolate cream is rich and it melts in your mouth. 
The matcha cream is sweet. This is the limited time cream cheese flavor. It's cute and the taste is authentic. Next stop is Asakusa Seisakujo. It's a unique shop where you can enjoy tempura chips that are made by pressing and grilling tempura. It has a savory aroma of shrimp. We recommend sprinkling it with wasabi salt. The spiciness of wasabi is a perfect match. Next, we'll introduce Kagetsudo. It's a specialty shop for melon bread established in 1945. This is one of the representative shops in Asakusa and it's so popular that there are a line every day. It's melon bread that sells over 3,000 pieces a day. The outside is crispy like a cookie and the inside is fluffy. It has a pleasant aroma of butter. It's sweet and melts in your mouth. Next stop is Kaminari Issa. It's a tea shop that opened in November 2022. It's known for their sweets made with freshly ground matcha. We'll introduce three types of sweets at this shop. Let's start with the matcha cream puff. It has matcha powder on top of the pastry, giving it a pleasant aroma. Inside, it's filled with whipped cream made with plenty of matcha. It's not very sweet, and the bitterness of matcha flavor is strong. It might not be liked by those who prefer sweet treats, but it's worth trying for matcha lovers. Next, we'll introduce the cream puff with Japanese black tea, recommended for those who don't like matcha. The brown surface gives it a nice crispy texture. Inside, there is a cream made with Japanese black tea from Shizuoka. It has subtle sweetness and a pleasant aroma. The cream puff has an elegant flavor. The next is soft serve ice cream topped with warabi mochi. The soft serve has a strong matcha flavor. This soft serve has rice puffs in it, giving it a crispy texture. The warabi mochi underneath is chewy and melts in your mouth. There are also warabi mochi made with matcha. It has a pleasant bitterness and it's addictive. The next shop is Imoyasu. It's a sweet potato specialty shop that opened in May 2021. We'll introduce two recommended items. First one is the sweet potato tart. It's a classic Japanese dessert made by mashing sweet potatoes and adding milk and butter. The top part is seared giving it a nice crispy texture. The bottom part has a smooth texture and melts in your mouth. The sweetness of sweet potato and butter spreads in your mouth, making it delicious. The sweet potato chips are also popular at this shop. The crispy texture is addictive. You can taste the natural sweetness of the sweet potatoes. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next, we'll introduce shops around Asakusa Station. We'll share tips that will be useful for touring Asakusa. If you're coming from Shibuya Station to Asakusa Station, the Ginza Line is convenient. If you're coming from Haneda Airport, we recommend using the Asakusa Line. When you are coming from Tokyo Skytree, you can get there quickly by using the Tobu Skytree Line. The first shop is Flower Miffy. This is a rare shop that specializes in Miffy merchandise and flowers, and there are only four stores in Japan. Inside the store, you'll find various Miffy items, including exclusive products that you can only purchase at this shop. This time, we'll introduce the Miffy Donut that you can only get at Flower Miffy. We chose the one exclusive in Asakusa from among the four varieties. It's coated with strawberry-flavored white chocolate. The combination of sweet dough and refreshing strawberry-flavored chocolate is perfect. It's nice that Asakusa is written in kanji. Next, we'll introduce this shop called Unatoto. 
This restaurant specializes in eel dishes and has branches in Akihabara and Ueno. You can enjoy dishes like eel bowls at affordable prices. This time, we'll introduce a perfect item for a food tour. It's a grilled eel skewer. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. It's delicious as is, but we recommend adding some sensual pepper. The sweet sauce has a little spiciness and a refreshing aroma, making it taste light and fresh. It's great that you can enjoy large, thick cuts of eel at an affordable price. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next, we will introduce the shops in the Shopping Street and Orange Street. First one is this shop, Asakusa Ichigoza. It's a specialty shop for strawberry sweets and it's popular on social media. There are a variety of sweets, but this time we'll introduce a smoothie that uses 16 strawberries. It combines the strong sweetness of strawberries with milk. It has a sweetness of milk and the subtle tartness of the strawberries, making it a refreshing flavor. It's topped with crushed frozen strawberries, which has a nice texture. It has a rich flavor as if you were eating strawberries as they are. The next is Kase. It's a restaurant specializing in Taiwanese cuisine that opened in July 2023. The most popular menu is pan-fried shan lao bao. Let's eat it freshly grilled. This time, we chose the pan-fried shan lao bao with two fillings, pork and shrimp. The skin is thick and has a chewy texture. The grilled part has a crispy texture. When you take a bite, the flavorful juices overflow. It's juicy and amazing! The shrimp is plump and has a sweet flavor. It also has a mild saltiness. It's great that you can easily enjoy authentic Taiwanese cuisine. The next place is Ice Tokyo. It's a specialty shop for waffles and churros. This time, we'll introduce a freshly fried churro. It's topped with sugar and cornflakes. It's colorful and cute. It's freshly fried, so it's hot and crispy. The sweetness of the sugar goes well with the churro. The texture of the cornflakes has a nice accent. Next, we'll introduce Asakusa Tako Tako. It's a takoyaki shop that opened in October 2022. We'll recommend three items from this shop. First, let's start with Tako Sen. It's topped with takoyaki on rice crackers, drizzled with mayonnaise, and ready. This rice cracker contains shrimp, giving it a sweet flavor. The sauce has a savory aroma. The takoyaki is soft and creamy. The crispy texture of the tempura bits adds a nice accent. Next up, we'll have deep-fried sweet bean bun. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. It's filled with sweet red bean paste and camembert cheese. The sweetness of the red bean paste and the saltiness of the camembert cheese are a perfect match. It's a creamy and addictive dessert. The next item is a potato croquette in a ring shape. It comes in a cute container and it's easy to eat. It uses Wagyu for the filling. It has just the right amount of fat and sweetness. The shape is adorable and the taste is authentic. The next shop is Fritz Bruges. It's a specialty shop for Belgium-style French fries made with Japanese potatoes. There are more than 10 flavors of dip sauces and this time we chose the one that is particularly recommended. Typical French fries are fried with frozen potatoes, but this shop uses unfrozen potatoes. Mixing two types of oil and double frying makes the outside crispy and the inside moist. Our recommended sauce is spicy cordero mayonnaise. The spiciness of the spicy cordero adds a nice accent. 
It has a creamy texture. Besides this sauce, there are other options like avocado and honey mustard, so be sure to give them a try. Next, we'll introduce Oimoyasan Koshin. It's a special dish shop for sweet potato desserts. This time, we'll introduce the top two popular sweets. Let's start with the second most popular item, the sweet potato tart. It has a nice aroma of butter. The sweetness of the sweet potato and milk spreads in your mouth. It's moist and melts in your mouth. Next, we'll have the most popular item, daigaku imo. Daigaku imo is a traditional Japanese sweet made by seasoning sweet potatoes with honey and soy sauce. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The texture and aroma of black sesame are a nice accent. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Courage. It's a bakery with over 10 years of history. There are a variety of bread, but we'll have the most popular one, the Asakusa Anpan. It's a square-shaped bread with the kanji for Asakusa grilled on it. It contains yogurt in the dough, making it moist. It has a nice aroma of eggs and milk. Inside, there is a sweet red bean paste and whipped cream. The moderately sweet red bean paste and whipped cream go perfectly together. Next, let us introduce Asakusa Monja Croquette. It's a croquette specialty shop that opened in 2004. This time, we'll introduce the most popular menu, the Monja Croquette. The freshly fried croquette is seasoned with sauce. Inside, there is cabbage and pickled ginger, making it resemble monjayaki. It's great that you can easily enjoy the Tokyo specialty of monjayaki. Next is this shop, Asakusa Silk Pudding. It's a pudding specialty shop that has been in business for 15 years. There is a wide variety of pudding and we'll introduce the first and second most popular ones. Let's start with the classic pudding at this shop. It uses Okukujiran, a brand of eggs that are richer in flavor and higher in nutrients than regular eggs. It has the natural sweetness of milk and the richness of eggs. The caramel has just the right amount of bitterness. The balance of sweetness and bitterness is just right in this pudding. The most popular one is the premium silk pudding. It's made by using only egg yolks, and it contains twice the amount of vanilla beans as the previous one. It's rich and delicious. Both puddings are wonderful, but if you prefer a rich flavor, this one is recommended. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Tokyo Curry Pan, which is located just a one-minute walk from Asakusa Silk Pudding. This bakery sells only one type of curry bread. That's the cheese curry bread. Regular curry bread is deep fried, but this one is baked, so it's healthier. It uses truffle oil, so it has a nice aroma. The chewy dough has an addictive texture. Inside, there is plenty of cheese and curry. The curry is spicy, but you can also taste the sweetness. The melted cheese gives the curry a mild flavor. Next, we'll introduce the Asakusa Roku area. This is in Don Quixote, open 24 hours. You can find everything from daily necessities to alcohol at this store. There are a wide variety of items compared to other stores, so it's recommended to buy souvenirs. In this area, you can also find the popular conveyor belt sushi restaurant, Kura Sushi. Now, the first shop is Tako no Nakigoe. This is a specialty shop for large taco senbei, octopus rice cracker. It takes some time to get your order because they make each one individually after your order. We went on a weekday afternoon and it took about 20 minutes. The crispy texture is addictive. It contains gochujang, so it has a subtle spiciness. 
On weekends, you might have to wait for over an hour, so it's recommended to go around the opening time at 11 o'clock. Next, we'll introduce Edo Taiyaki, which is right in front of Don Quixote. It's popular for the classic taiyaki with sweet red bean paste and cream fillings, but this time we'll introduce two unique items. The first one is this taiyaki that has chashu pork sandwiched inside. The dough is soft and fluffy. Inside, there is a large chashu pork and mayonnaise. The chashu pork has just the right amount of fat and melt in your mouth. It goes well with mayonnaise. It's recommended for those who like a rich flavor. The next taiyaki is seasoned with mayonnaise and ketchup. The filling is egg and bacon. It's thick and satisfying to eat. The outside of the dough is crispy and the inside is chewy. The bacon is rich in fat. It's not sweet, such as red bean paste or custard cream, so it's recommended for breakfast. The next place is Sekine. It's a specialty shop for shumai and meat buns that was established in 1921. We'll introduce the most popular pork bun. It's freshly steamed, so you can enjoy it piping hot. The dough is moist and fluffy. It has a subtle sweetness. The juices overflow from the filling. It uses only pork and onions, so it's simple and delicious. Be careful not to burn yourself because it's very hot. The next shop is Tokyo Asakusa Chicken, located in the same building as Don Quixote. It's a shop where you can enjoy fried foods like croquettes. We'll introduce karaage at this shop. It's the most popular menu that won the gold award at the karaage competition in 2023. The size is large and it's satisfying to eat. The coating is light, giving it a nice crispy texture. The chicken is soaked in a salt-based sauce for over 24 hours, making it more flavorful than it looks. It uses young chicken thigh meat, so it has just the right amount of fat, and the juices overflow. It's the best karage you can find in Asakusa. The next place is Pan no Tajima. This is a shop where you can enjoy creative bread with various ingredients inside koppe pan which is the classic bread in Japan. We'll introduce a particularly recommended one among over 30 selections. This bread is sandwiched with shrimp cutlet and egg. It has the spicy aroma of the sauce. The bread is fluffy and moist. The shrimp has a nice plump texture. The eggs mixed with the mayonnaise are creamy. The sauce has a fruity and subtle sweetness. The texture of the lettuce has a nice accent. Now let's move on to the next area. The next location is the area around the Sensoji Temple and Kaminarimon Gate in Asakusa, which is one of the most visited by people. We'll introduce a shop located near Nakamise Dori, the street that connects these two tourist spots. The first is Asakusa Kibirango Azuma. You can enjoy kibidango, a type of mochi made from a plant in the grass family known as kibi. We'll introduce two menu items here. First up, we'll have kibidango. The chewy texture is addictive. You can taste the natural sweetness of soybean flour. It's nice that the prices are affordable. The next item we're introducing is a cold matcha drink. It has a subtle bitterness from the matcha, but is sweet and easy to drink. It goes well with kibidango, so we recommend trying them together. The next place is Kuroge. It's a shop that sells three varieties of fried foods. We'll introduce the most popular one, the cheese menchikatsu. It uses a mixture of ground beef and pork. The breadcrumbs are crispy, which adds a nice texture. Inside, there is plenty of cheese, giving it a creamy texture. The juices from the meat spread in your mouth. 
will introduce the most popular menchikatsu in Asakusa later, so stay tuned! The next place is Funawa. It's a popular shop known for its sweets made with sweet potatoes. We'll introduce two recommended sweets from this shop. The first one is Dorayaki. It's filled with sweet potato paste and buttercream. The dough is soft and has the sweetness of honey. The sweet potato paste filling is smooth with a natural sweetness. The saltiness of buttercream gives it a nice accent. Next, we'll introduce a pie. Inside this pie, you'll find sweet potatoes and cream cheese. The pie has a crispy texture and a nice buttery aroma. There is a mochi inside, giving it a chewy texture. The natural sweetness of sweet potatoes and the tartness of cream cheese adds a nice accent. It's a recommended place for those who like sweet potatoes. The next place is Asakusa Soratsuki. It's a specialty shop for strawberry sweets, and you can find it in Tsukiji and Tokyo Sky Tree as well. This time, we'll introduce three recommended menu items. The first one is Ichigo Ame, which is strawberry candy. The candy has a nice crispy texture. The strawberries have no tartness and they are sweet. The strawberries are big, so they're satisfying to eat. Next, we'll have Dango. It's topped with mango, strawberry, matcha, and red bean paste, making it colorful. The chewy texture is addictive. It's nice that you can enjoy various flavors in this one. There is also soft serve ice cream with the strawberry on top. The strawberry is sweet and its juice fills your mouth. The combination of the sweetness of the soft serve and the subtle tartness of the strawberry is perfect. Next, we'll introduce Asakusa Kokonoe. This is a specialty shop for age manju, which are manju buns coated in batter and then fried. We'll introduce two recommended menu items from this shop. First up, the classic age manju filled with sweet red bean paste. The outside is crispy and the dough is fluffy. It's filled with koshian, which is smooth sweet red bean paste. It has just the right amount of sweetness and a creamy texture. The next is a slightly unique type of filling. Inside, you'll find monjayaki, a famous specialty from Tokyo. It also has cheese, making it creamy. It's a popular shop located right in front of Sensoji Temple, so you should go there. The next place is Mitsuya. It's a specialty shop for Shiratama sweets that opened in April 2022. There are four types of flavor, but this time we chose the Mitarashi flavor. It also pays attention to the packaging, so it makes for a great gift. The Shiratama at this shop is made using premium glutinous rice from Saga Prefecture called Hiyokumai, so you can taste the natural sweetness of the rice. The Mitarashi sauce has a sweet flavor, but it also has the subtle saltiness from the soy sauce, giving it an elegant taste. The shiratama is soft and chewy, and its texture is addictive. It's delicious as it is, but we also recommend trying it with some shichimi. The spiciness and citrusy aroma of shichimi make it even more delicious. There is also sweet red bean paste and matcha paste, so make sure to try them. The next shop is Tokiwaru Kaminari Okoshi Honpo, located next to the Kaminari Moon Gate. Right in front of this shop, they sell freshly steamed Chinese buns. This is Monjaman, a Chinese bun filled with monjayaki ingredients inside. It's fluffy and piping hot. It's filled with monjayaki. It has a spicy and rich sauce flavor. The texture of cabbage and noodles is great. The fat from the ground meat soaked into the dough, making it delicious. The next place is Yohei. It's a shop where you can enjoy rice crackers and dango made from glutinous rice. 
There are five types of dango, but this time we'll introduce two recommended flavors among them. First, let's try the soy sauce flavored one. The savory aroma of soy sauce and the saltiness are nice. The chewy texture is addictive. It's recommended for those who don't like sweet treats. Next, we'll have dango topped with black sesame paste. It has a pleasant sesame aroma. It has a subtle sweetness and a creamy texture. In addition to these, there are also dango made with sweet red bean paste and seaweed, so be sure to give them a try. Alright, let's move on to the next area. Lastly, we came to Denboin Dori Street, near Sensoji Temple. We'll introduce three recommended shops. The first place is Asakusa Anshinya. It's a specialty shop for Taiwanese-style fried chicken, known as Zaji Pai. And it's a popular shop, so there is a long line every day. Let's eat it freshly fried. It has the pleasant aroma of Sichuan pepper and Chinese star anise. The coating is light and crispy. It uses the lean part of chicken, so it has a refreshing taste. The size is large, so it's recommended for two people to share. The next place is Toyofuku. This shop sells only one type of curry bread. The outside of the freshly fried curry bread is crispy, and the inside has a chewy texture. Inside the curry, you'll find large cuts of wagyu. It's not too spicy and has a rich flavor similar to demigla sauce. The wagyu, simmered for a long time, melts in your mouth. It's a luxurious curry bread. The last one we'll introduce is Asakusa Menchi. It's a specialty shop for menchi katsu and one of the most popular in the Asakusa area. There is always a line, but they serve you quickly. Even if the line is long, you can usually eat within about 15 minutes. It uses fresh breadcrumbs that have not been dried. The meat inside is a combination of kozabuta, a brand of pork from Kanagawa Prefecture, and ground wagyu. The juices from the meat spread throughout your mouth. There are onions giving it a sweet flavor. Once you try it, you won't be able to forget how delicious it is. If you come to Asakusa, you should try it! If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!